John Martinez from John Sporting Goods, and this demonstration is about hooking up a shrimp pot. This is the SMI 19001 round shrimp pot. This is my favorite shrimp pot, and the one that I use all the time in Puget Sound and the San Juan Islands. Attached to this pot is three five pound weights. There's one here, there's one on this side, and one on this side. They're attached with uh, some tie straps. Attached to the bottom of the pot with a stainless steel snap is a pound and a half anchor. This is going to ensure that this pot is going to stay firmly on the bottom. It's very important that your pot and weights weigh at least 30 to 35 pounds. If it weighs anything less than that, you're probably going to lose your pot on a hard tide. This is the harness. I also like these heavy duty harnesses with the heavy duty snaps and I like the stainless steel ovals. I never use a snap at this spot right here because you can lose your pot. So have a oval right there that will not come undone. Attached to the oval is 400 feet of 5 16 leaded rope and that should be enough to be shrimping in 250 to 350 feet of water. Now when you get to the other end of the rope after you've let your shrimp pot out you're going to come to this small buoy right here. Attached to this buoy is going to be this series of buoys right here. This series of buoys is going to float the rope and you're going to attach those to the end of the rope. So as you're letting this overboard you're going to come to this spot right here and what you're going to attach to that position is this large polyform buoy and the reason for this type of buoy you can use this or a more inexpensive type of buoy is this is going to make sure that your pot does not float away if your pot kind of slips away from the current or slips off the edge where it's at this is going to float your pot along with this series of buoys right here and so i'm going to attach this large buoy to this series of buoys right here with a stainless steel snap Okay, then you can let the whole works overboard and you can soak your pot from anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour and then retrieve it. I like, to, I like to check my pot fairly often. I hope that helps you out and good luck shrimping. If you need more information on salmon, lingcod, halibut, shrimp, and crab, consider buying my book, The Saltwater Fishing Journal for Fishing Puget Sound and the San Juan Islands.